Hi, I am Awesome Gamer 2008. This week we will be doing no, not the black shirt tetras. This is my 10 gallon tank. Um, they're in here because they are way too aggressive, so, so they're in here. But let's get to the real deal. Sculpins. What are sculpins? They're like freshwater gobies in a way, but they're not. These are Blue Ridge sculpins. Um, we are currently quarantining them because they might have nematodes slash parasites, um, actually slash flatworms, I believe, and that can kill them and other fish. That can spread. Um, so yeah, these are sculpins. That's they. These are both Blue Ridge sculpins. That's a sculpin, and that little one right there is a sculpin. But, like I said, when I did the video of those Harbor Breeze time ends, um, I would be doing a, if I caught any fish there, um, I would be doing a video of them. So, here we are. I will update you guys when we get them into the big, the real deal, the big tank. Um, whoops. Um, um, there's no, like, there's nothing wrong with them what we've seen like no white poop or anything that can be that can be referenced linked to worms or red poop um um which those are the actual worms i don't know what that is i don't think that's a worm like or something that no that's not a worm um um there's a better look at both of them um there's, that's the little one Pretty sure that's a young female, and this is a uh, about an adult male because they only get like three inches, not very big. These guys are carnivores. Um, we've been giving them bloodworms, but they also eat crustaceans like snails and stuff like that. So beware of that if you have them. But you know they're rare. People don't really have these blue ridge sculpins. But these guys, we've had them ever since this past Wednesday, and. They've been doing well, like we've, this Wednesday will be the first week they're in. We're, you have to quarantine them for three weeks, and if they're, and they have parasites, you have to treat them for another three weeks. So, yeah, it's a pretty long process, and like I said, these guys are in here because they're aggressive towards my fish. Um, the black jerk tetras, they're actually black skirt, if you don't know. Um, they probably feel a little more natural in here because there's actual fish in here. And they're not the type that will eat them, like bass. Speaking of bass, sculpins, like, um, banded sculpins and modded sculpins, pretty much the same thing of what I, like, to the naked eye. I don't really know too much about, like, the difference. I've had a banded sculpin. He died. We had to put the all the fish in this tank at one time, and we put a heater in there, and unfortunately, it got too hot, and just my banded sculpin accidentally died by accident. But ba people often use this as bait for basses. Um, these guys get blue heads whenever they they are mating. The males. This is obviously a male, but he doesn't have his bluish green head anymore. Um, these guys are a lot like gobies. Um, so, if any of you guys are experienced um, and are able to keep these guys, um, please, you know. Do it like you, but you, they, these guys are wild caught, but they don't even seem very stressed, honestly. They're quite active, they don't seem like anything's wrong with them. Um, so yeah, this is my 10 gallon tank. Um, this is a little care video. You have to watch your temperatures, keep it, you have to at the most to keep it in like the 76, stuff like that, maybe 78. You can't, um, have it over 80. No, you have to be very careful about your temperature with these guys because these are cool water fish um but in the wild it can it can possibly where it gets in the 70s um um so the water's like during the hot summer so i'm not going to worry about it too much these guys will hopefully go in the community tank eventually we're currently selling the black skirt tetras because we're not selling them we're probably going to take them to a pet store for store credit um ooh, um and so I can get some cherry shrimp. Speaking of cherry shrimp, um, um, I will do a part two video, probably later today or tomorrow, 
of my new fish because I have some new fish currently. Um, and I have some ghost shrimp. But we have to clean the tank out, um, like the glass. So I'm just doing this little this little quick video of them. So that's pretty much it, guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. We feed them blood rooms, and apparently they're eating them because they're alive and healthy looking. And be careful of worms when you have wild caught fish. Quarantine them for three weeks. They, yeah, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Good one.